Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. First off, I apologize for the no makeup, glasses look, but listen, it's Saturday, I worked out, I showered, washed my hair, so this is basically what we're gonna get. But I wanted to give you guys a couple of updates of what has been going on. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here for you guys. A couple days ago, I posted that I had ordered a new camera and I was so excited about my new camera. Couldn't wait for it to get here. It was supposed to arrive on Friday. So I looked at the UPS tracking on Friday and it was delayed until Tuesday. Well, in the meantime, my other camera completely quit working. So it's good that I ordered a new camera, but bad because now I'm in the position where I don't have a camera at all. Due to the Memorial Day holiday, they won't be able to deliver my new camera until Tuesday. So I am filming on my iPhone. This is a new phone for me. I just picked this up a few months ago. I've never even filmed on it. So I apologize in advance if the quality isn't as good. Maybe it's better than my old camera, but regardless, just heads up that the next few videos, today's grocery haul, as well as my what I eat in a day and my meal prep will all have to unfortunately be filmed on my phone. So I apologize for that. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you notice any difference. But regardless, it's Saturday, so it's a grocery haul day. This week, I ended up just going to Walmart pickup. We've been so busy that I haven't been able to go grocery shopping, but we did need quite a few things for the Memorial Weekend holiday, for Troy to return back to work, and I have a new drink find that I can't wait to share with you. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. We do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend whether you're on WW or not. And if you want to chat with me directly, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So Let's jump into this week's WW Grocery Haul Meal Plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Here is this week's grocery haul. And again, I apologize if the quality isn't as good because again, I am filming on my phone as I impatiently wait for my new camera. So let's jump in to this week's haul. Again, this is from Walmart. First, I picked up a few non-food things, including a new pillow. I actually ordered three new pillows, but two of the three were out of stock. So they just went ahead and gave me the Serta Super Firm. This one is mine. I'm going to have to come up with a way to get Troy some pillows. And then I picked up these CoverGirl Makeup Master Powder Puffs. I need these just to apply powder. And unfortunately, the little rubber ones just don't work very well with my skin. So I picked those up. A pack of Bones for Palmer. He sure loves just chewing on these these bones. This one is chicken, bacon, and big chicken flavored. So we picked up another pack of those. That's all of the non-food. I picked up a loaf of sourdough bread. As I've mentioned, Troy actually goes back to work on Sunday, so he needs sandwich goodies again. So a loaf of sourdough, a big container of the Dairy Gold Cottage Cheese 4% milk fat. This is for Palmer. We've been giving him a little bit of cottage cheese with his breakfast and dinner just to help with calcium and keeping his ears up and his bones growing nice and strong. Some baking powder because I was completely out. Two big cartons of reduced sodium chicken broth. I have a couple recipes this next week that call for chicken broth. I also picked up the beef broth for a dinner recipe. A suja juice just because it sounded so delicious. I absolutely love these juices. Everything in here is real whole food. It's purified water, strawberries, raspberries, lemon, and honey. It clocks in at three points per a bottle, but since it's only 60 calories, I count it as one point. Some deli roast beef for Troy's lunches. That's the meat that he requested for his first week back to work. A big pack of center cut bacon. We're going to do BLTs for dinner tonight. And then I also need bacon for a couple of recipes this next week. My Walmart did not have organic brown rice, unfortunately. And part of my meal prep involves brown rice. So I just went ahead and got the great value natural long grain rice. A 12 pack of Activia yogurts for Troy. He likes to take yogurt in his lunches at work. And this one is really good because it's 
full of probiotics. Some light brown sugar because I'm completely out of just regular brown sugar and I need that for a recipe this weekend. Potato gnocchi for a dinner recipe. I just think this package is so, so cute. We love gnocchi. So here is the new drink find that I'm so excited about. I actually saw this on a beauty YouTuber's channel. So I went to check it out and there is no natural flavors in this. It is actually made with essence or essential oils of the fruits. It comes in just plain sparkling water, the grapefruit, which is the one that I picked up. These are nice 12 ounce bottles. This is called Topa Chico. And then I picked up the twist of lime as well. You guys know I love lime in my water and I really love grapefruit anything. A pack of hot dog buns and a pack of hamburger buns. This is for our barbecue with friends for Memorial Day. Lots of meat. We were out of 96% extra lean ground beef. So I picked up two pounds of that. A package of chicken breast just because I'm running low. I can't believe I've went through most of the chicken I bought at Costco just a couple of weeks ago so I picked that and a big pack of chicken thighs because this is for a dinner recipe. I also grabbed lots of cheese so some sharp cheddar slices for Troy's roast beef sandwiches. Sliced provolone for a dinner recipe. A big block of Swiss cheese so that I can shred it myself because apparently they don't sell shredded Swiss cheese. I had no idea. I looked everywhere and couldn't find it, so I'm just going to shred it myself. And then of course, Troy's cheese tray for his meat, cheese, and crackers. I was almost out of creamer, so I grabbed the sweet and creamy silk almond milk creamer. I really like this creamer and I haven't had it in so long. And then I also picked up the Starbucks caramel macchiato. I had this today. It is so good. It's a little bit higher in calories. I don't know if the points are any different. They were here on the screen for you, but this was really good. Totally gave me the Starbucks caramel macchiato vibes. And a six pack of kombucha, the trilogy, two of those, two ginger aid, two ginger berry. This is the best price if you can find it in either the large bottles or the six packs. Everything else is produce. I got a lot of produce this week. So some shallots for a dinner recipe, an avocado, a lemon, and a mango. Those are all for recipes. And you guys know I put lemon in my water every day, so I didn't want to run out of my lemons for my water. Some blueberries for meal prep, a pound of organic strawberries. I'm making strawberry rhubarb crisp. It is not WW friendly, but I'm going to be making that. I did buy some rhubarb in my Imperfect Foods order. I can't find it anywhere in my local store. So if you know where I can buy it or start to even put a plant in my yard, definitely let me know. Some bell peppers for a dinner recipe, two packs of mushrooms, some asparagus for a dinner recipe, and tomatoes for the burgers for the barbecue. Some green onions for a couple of recipes. Fresh mint because I have been obsessed with putting fresh mint in my water along with my lemons, limes, watermelon. One of my members of my Facebook group in our spring challenge puts this in her water and her water always looks so pretty. So I've been loving having that little bit of mint in there. Some grapes for a, a dinner recipe. And I decided to grab butter lettuce, not only for the burgers, but also for a dinner recipe that requires lettuce leaves and I thought this would be a little bit easier than romaine or green lettuce so I have the Pete's Living Butter Lettuce. So that is everything that I picked up for groceries this week. I'm so excited about my new sparkling water. I can't wait to barbecue for Memorial Day. So now let's jump into what you'll be seeing for meal prep on Monday as well as the dinners that I'm making for this next week. So here is what is on my menu for the week. We are 529 through June Fourth. Can you even believe June is right around the corner? Today, Saturday, we are barbecuing with some friends for the Memorial holiday. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. You guys will actually see this video in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is grilled chicken and mango skewers. It's grilling season, which is my favorite season. Tuesday is leftovers, of course. Wednesday, I will be making BLT tacos. So this is spin on a traditional BLT. Thursday is French onion and beef gnocchi. That also sounds delicious. And then every Friday, I like to do a leftover night just to eat up anything leftover from earlier in the week. And here's what you will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. For breakfast, I'm actually making copycat Starbucks egg bites. I'm excited for this because I love their egg bites. They're just so incredibly expensive. I wanted to make a copycat version at home. Lunch is brown rice risotto. I'm going to make this in my Instant Pot, but this is something you could make on the stovetop as well. And lastly, for a snack, for summer, I'm making lemon blueberry bread. This sounds so good. So you will see all three of these recipes on Monday in meal prep. All right, so that is this week's grocery haul. Palmer has decided 
to end out the video with us. Say thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for watching and I don't want to sit still. Nope, I sure don't. Thank you for watching this week's grocery haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click that little bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to head over and join us there. Happy Saturday, happy Memorial weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.